Hi, my favorite students. Welcome back. Algebra, we're talking uh, today. Algebra 1, this is out of the Saxon 3rd edition book. We are looking at lesson 8 today. I didn't even write that down. Algebra 1, lesson 8. We are talking about area, area, finding the area. Just a uh, quick recap on one of my previous videos we did, finding the perimeter, finding the perimeter. And just as a reminder, that is, like if I have this guy right here, it's my garden, right? It's that time of year, I'm recording these during the summer. So uh, it's that time of year to garden. Let's say this is five, this is five, this is 10, this is 10. It's not to scale, obviously, I'm terrible at that. Um, on this guy, to find the perimeter, that would be like the equivalent of finding the fence, right? You're gonna go to the, the hardware store and you're gonna ask for 10 plus 10, which is 20 plus five, 25, 30. You're gonna need 30 feet of fencing, 30 feet of fencing. Well, now we're gonna talk area, all right? Area is all this garbage that's in between, all that garbage that's in between, all right? Uh, the best way for us to visualize that is, I have some of these bricks here, okay? And they're all laid out, there's one brick each, see that? If I put these bricks together, we put these guys like this, these guys all together, I now have a brick that looks like this. Sorry about that autofocus there. Okay, I have a brick that looks like this, right? If I were to draw that out, it would be two tall. There's one, there's two, and it would be one, two, three across. One, two, three across, one, two, three. All right, so that means it's two on one side, so two over here, three up here. Two times three is six. Okay, so that's how area works. We multiply this times this to get the area. That's four rectangles, okay? And we're only gonna really talk about rectangles today. Uh, actually, we'll talk about triangles too. Uh, so that's how we would find the area of a rectangle. You just multiply the, the base times that height. Okay, now for, let's, we'll talk about triangles while we're on that. So as we just discussed, for the area for a rectangle is base times height. So I'm gonna write that area equals base times height for a rectangle or a square, whatever, uh, something rectangular shaped. All right, so if, uh, now we're talking triangles though. If I were to draw a line cutting this guy in half, you see that I would have a triangle, right? So the way that we find the area of a triangle, the area of a triangle, we're gonna do the base times the height, but we are going to cut it in half. Cut it in half. What I want you to do on your notes is write these two things down. This is finding area. You're probably gonna wanna flag these, star these, I don't know, put stickers, something. Uh, because you will be referencing these quite a bit, quite a bit. Okay, so let's do some practice ones from, from the book. Uh, if you're following along, I'm on page 37 and it looks like example 8.1 looks like this. Looks like this. Oh, oh, I don't even know what was going on there. All right. So this guy is four, this is two, six, five, and two and three. Now, there are two different ways to, uh, to find the area of this. I'm gonna show you one method. The first method one is what we can do is break this into two rectangular parts that we know. You see, I've just broken those. This guy is the base, right? And the base is, is two, because this would be the equivalent of here. And if this guy is two, right, this guy has to be four because this whole thing has to equal six, okay? So the base here is two. We multiply it by the height, which is five. That gives us 10, okay? The other over here is gonna be base, which is four times our height, which is two, so that's eight. 10 plus eight gives us 18. And we're talking in units, our centimeters, squared, centimeters squared, and here's why. We have five centimeters times two centimeters, that gives us 10 centimeters squared, because we're multiplying centimeters times centimeters, we got two of them now. Same here, centimeters squared. So, uh, so that was the first method for, for uh, figuring out the area of this. There's also another method, another method here. Let me reset this guy. Okay, so we see that there's actually a larger uh, rectangular shape here, right? Mm, throwing markers, I get really excited about math. 
Okay, we see that there's a larger rectangular shape here, right? This large shape, it has a base of six and a height of five. Six times five equals 30 centimeters squared, but we have taken a bite out of that. There's our bite. We gotta take that bite away. That The dimensions of that bite are the base, which is four, times the height, which is three. Four times three is 12. So we need to subtract 12 centimeters squared from here, because that's the bite that we took out. That will give us 18 centimeters squared. 18 centimeters squared. So there's two different ways of doing this, okay? Uh, I, whichever method you prefer, we'll switch between the two as we go along. Okay, so let's look at this next one. Example 8.2. 8.2, we have a big guy here. And this is eight by 10. And then we have, yeah, inside here, we have a six by two. And what they're wanting you to find is the area of the shaded region. That's this guy. All right, area of the shaded region. Essentially what we're gonna wanna do, find the area of this big one, take that bite out of the center. And so since we're taking a bite out, we're gonna be subtracting. So the area for the big one, let's see what dimensions are incredibly important, folks. So make sure you've got those. Looks like ours are in meters. Okay, so the dimensions for that big rectangle are going to be 10 meters times 8 meters, which gives us 80 meters squared. The uh, dimensions for that smaller one, that's a 6 there, uh, are 6 times 2, 6 meters times 2 meters, which gives us 12 meters squared. Now, since we took that bite out, we do need to subtract. So 80 minus 12, we're going to get 8 here. 10, right, borrow, that gives us 68 meters squared. 68 meters squared. Excellent, so now let's go back to those triangles. Let's go back to those triangles. All right, uh, there are a couple of examples on page 38 for the book that will be helpful. Uh, but let's, or to, a couple of examples of different types of triangles, right? So uh, let's go ahead and do example 8.3. And there's A, B, and C. There's uh, three different examples there. Uh, this triangle looks like this for A. Again, it's going to be three. This is a three. This is four. And that area of a triangle is the base times the height divided by two. The base times the height divided by two. So we take the base. Uh, that's the base. Times it by the height, right? That's three. That gives us 12. So we have three times four divided by two, which equals 12 divided by two, which equals six. And our units are all in inches, six inches squared, six inches squared. So that was A, okay? B looks a little bit different. It's a different type of triangle. Looks like this guy. This guy is three, this is four, okay? Again, we're gonna find our area the same way that we did for this one. Let me back that up a little bit. Okay, so the area for this guy is gonna be uh, base, which is four, times the height, which is three, and then we snip, snip, we gotta cut it in half, okay? Two, so that gives us 12 over two, which equals, again, six inches squared, six inches squared. Now, for number three, this one's a slightly different one because our height is going to be on the outside. The height is going to be on the outside of our triangle. So our triangle looks like this, right? This is our four for our base, right? The height is not going to be this slanty looking thing. The height has to be, the height has to make a right angle, a right angle with the base, okay? They have to be right angle. Uh, and the height here is going to be three. So again, to find the area of the triangle, we do three times four, base, base times height divided by two, which gives us, again, 12 divided by two, which gives us six inches squared. So three different types of triangles. Um, we all get the same inches. They're all the same dimensions, okay? Uh, excellent. Now we're gonna talk one more. We're gonna talk about the area of circles, the area of circles. To find this formula, and you'll wanna write this one down as well, we are going to do area of a circle equals the radius squared times pi. 
Just a refresh. The radius is this guy that goes straight from the center out and it can go in any direction, right? Uh, the diameter is all the way across, but we don't deal with that with radius, or I'm sorry, with area. Okay, so that's the area of a circle. Make sure you write that down and flag it. You will need it. Um, example uh, 8.6, it says the radius of a circle is three centimeters, find the area. Three centimeters is our radius. So in order to find the area, we do three squared times pi. Area equals nine pi, nine pi. I, uh, and the unit, I'm sorry, is in centimeters. Centimeters squared. Now, I prefer if you leave things in terms of pi, but if you don't want to, make sure to use that pi button on your calculator. So if we do three, that one's kind of hard to see, sorry about that. We do three times, and then my pi button is right here, but I have to hit shift first, shift pi. We end up with 9.424, so we'll just say nine point, area equals 9.42 centimeters squared. Use those units, guys. If you leave your units off, the, the answer is incorrect. I don't care if you get the number right, but those units have to be on there. Um, good. Okay, so that's the area of a circle. So now you know the area of a circle, a triangle, and a rectangle. What we're going to do is put those all together, because I think most, for the most part, that should be a refresh for you. But we're going to put those together in some more composite figures, which we were talking about before. I'm so sorry, my dog is right here, and he wants to say hi. He's very distracting. Okay. So, the, so if you see a nose peek up here, that's what he's doing. Okay, um, the, oh, so composite figure. Let's look at example 8.8 .8 on page 40. On page 40, it looks like this guy. And it says this is seven and this is five. Let's break this, this guy up into things that we know, things that we know, okay? We know that this goes like that and then we have a half circle. Right here, we have a triangle, right? Okay, so uh, we do know that this, oh, I forgot this part, this radius is two. Now, this radius is two, which means it's a two here and a two here. Two plus two is gonna be four, so we know that guy is four right there, okay? Now, we know that this is five for this right here up until this point, okay? That means this is five here which means if that is five here, we need this whole thing to be seven, seven. So that means this is gonna be a two, okay? So let's do each one of these. Let's do that triangle first. Again, the area of a triangle is gonna be the base times the height, cut it in half. So we get the base, which is two, times it by four. Two times four is eight, cut that in half, we get four. And if it helps, I'll write that out so we get eight, two, and we get four, okay? Then the area of the rectangle is gonna be the base times the height. That is five times four. Five times four, which gives us 20, okay, 20. Then this circle here, we have the area of a circle, which is the radius squared times pi. The radius in this case is two. 2 squared times pi, so that's going to be 4 times pi. This would be a good use of uh, making sure that we use that pi button. So 4 times pi will give us 12.6. 12.6. So now what we have is the area of the triangle, the area of the rectangle, and the area of the circle. But we only have half of the circle, half the circle. So what we want to do is divide that by 2. When we do that, we get... 6.3, I don't know why I had to do that on the calculator. What kind of day it is. Okay, so we have 20 plus four plus 6.3. Six and four is 10, plus 20 is 30. So we get 30.3 centimeters squared, centimeters squared. So that's how you break up those uh, composite figures in order to get that, uh, to get the, the area of that one. Okay, so. Let's talk, oh, one more area, actually, one more area, is a parallelogram. And I think a parallelogram looks like a rectangle that got bopped on the head, right? Psh, bopped on the head. Uh, the area of a rectangle is found by doing the base times the height. It's the same thing for a parallelogram, but you do not want to use these slanty looking heights here. You'll want to use either this height 
or this height. So this is our base and this is our height, okay? So the area of a parallelogram, so write this one down, even though it's the same thing as a rectangle base times height, make sure you put that in your notes. Uh, area of a parallelogram is the base times the height. Okay, so the other one that we have, the final area that we're gonna be talking about is the area of a trapezoid. And a trapezoid looks just like that guy, right? So here I'm gonna draw an example trapezoid that we have here. This is on page 41. Uh, we have nine up here and 15 down here, and then a height of four. Now this slanty thing is a five, but that we don't even need, okay? So again, the area of a rectangle is base times height, right? Well, we could do base times height, but we can't play favorites with our base here. Which base do we use, the, the big one or the small one? We can't play favorites. What we have to do is find the average of those two. And so we're gonna take 15, in order to find the average, we add numbers together and divide by the number of numbers. So we're gonna take 15 plus nine, we're gonna divide by two. All right, so 15 plus nine gives us 24. Divide that by two, we get 12. So the average of nine and 15 is 12. So what we're going to do is now multiply that average times the height. So that's our base of 12 times that by the height of four, we get 48, I think it's centimeters, but nope, meters squared, 48 meters squared, okay? So the official way to write that for the um, area of a trapezoid is uh, base one plus base two divided by two uh, times the height, times the height. So that's your other area that you'll wanna write in your notes uh, and make sure that you have that flagged, okay? So let's go ahead and now would be a good time, pause and do those practice problems on page 41, A through C. Uh, and then there's one more on the next page, so A through D, really. Okay, so go ahead and pause it and do those practice problems. Come on back when you're ready, and we can go through those together. So for A, it looks like it's going to be this guy. All right, again, we're going to be finding the area of this, and there's that two method, right? We could just find the area of the big thing and then take that chunk out or we could break it up into something we know. Let's go ahead and break it up into something we know. Six times, so the area of the base is six, because this is six, which means this is six as well, times the height, which is two. So six times two equals 12, okay? Now, the area of the base here is nine, so we'll just bring that down here. Nine, nine, so nine times five is gonna give us 45. So 45 uh, inches, squared plus 12 inches squared. Add those together. Five and two is seven. Five inches squared. So that, that was a five, 57 inches squared. If you forgot to write your unit, you got it wrong. Wrong. Arr, sorry. Sorry that, uh, yeah, that's just, that's the way it is. That's the rule of the game here. All right. So find the area of this figure. It looks like this. It's got a triangle on one end. This guy right here. This is 10, 10, 4, and 7, which means, okay, so this 10 applies to the whole thing, right? I'll write that down here a little bit, which means this guy right here is 7, and 7, we need 3 more to make 10, so that's going to be 3 here. So the area of the triangle is going to be the base times the height divided by 2, base times height divided by 2. Uh, the base is three, the height is matches this guy right here, so it's gonna be four. So we have three times four divided by two. That gives us 12 for two, which gives us six. Now the area of the rectangle, that again is gonna be the base times the height. So seven times four divided by, oh no, we're not dividing that by two, it's the full thing. I don't know, I got a little excited about dividing. Seven times four equals 28. All right, this is in, uh, the dimensions are in feet. So we have six feet squared plus 28 feet squared. That gives us four, carry the one. We have 34 feet squared, 34 feet squared, okay? 
All right, for C, we have, that was my dog, I'm sorry. Okay, the radius of a circle is five centimeters. Find the area of the circle. And again, the area of a circle is the radius squared times pi. Uh, and we know that it's centimeters. I forgot to write that in there. Centimeters, okay? So uh, we are going to take the radius, which is five. We're gonna plug that in. Area equals five squared pi. Five squared is five times five. So area equals 25 pi centimeters squared. You can leave your, in this case, just leave it as pi. You don't have to multiply it by three times, uh, 3.14 or the pi button really. Uh, okay, so, okay, rolling over things. All right, so let's do D, turn page, we're gonna do D now. One more composite figure here. All right, one more composite figure. We've got this guy here. All right, this radius is a two. This is a four. This is a, from here to here is a seven. Let's uh, break this up into something that we know. Since it's from here to here is a seven, here to here is a four, that may, must mean that that guy is three, okay? That guy's three. Now a radius, there's one radius here and another radius here. And if they're two, that's two and two, that's gonna give us four as well. All right, so the area of the triangle. That's going to be base times height, which is 3 times 4 divided by 2 gives us 12 divided by 2, which equals 6. The area of the rectangle, that is base times height, which is 4 times 4, which equals 16. The area of the circle is the radius, which is 2 squared pi which equals four pi. And on this case, let's do that. Multiply it by that button. Four times pi gives us 12.6. But, but, but wait, there's only half a circle. Divide that by two, we get 6.3. So we have six plus 16, which gives us uh, 22 plus, so we have that six plus that 16 plus 6.3. Remember to line up your decimals here. Gives us three, eight, two, and this is in meters squared. So 28.3 meters squared. If you have any questions, let me know. Otherwise, great work, great work.